welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing more Doctors in. Doctors in what? He's in the ground because he's he in died. Mariana's back. Oh, jeez, Jonas. No. no, 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 he's not in he her He was, back, though. So he didn't. We have no proof of that. Okay. I'm proof. We have, no, we have no proof of that. So in the last episode, we got more in touch with Mariana, found out more about her power. She doesn't really know what her power is or does. She leads people to the beach like a siren, and then they die. Yes. Yes. Which I called from the very beginning. Maybe she killed uh, What's-Your-Face's husband. All right, so Dr. Decker's loan. We need to talk to her about Dr. Decker's loan. I should nope. take a look at the contract, but we already looked at it. Yeah, we contract. looked at that a long time ago, so um, we can look at it again, though. Yeah, loan let's see agreement. If there's anything we have. It says one. It says 0% interest, 30 months. No, it just basically says she has zero interest for 36 months. 15,000 right. pounds, of course. And see, and that's a lot of money. So she is on the list because of that. Because, like, you know, you she owe somebody $15,000. Yeah. All right. Uh, what did you need a distraction from? I don't know what this is in reference to, but let's hear what she from, She started the bit. Dr. Decker said she needed a distraction oh. to so to start a business or something. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what she has to say. Dr. Decker thought I had too much time on my hands. So a distraction would do me good. What do they say? Idle hands or the devil's playground? Let me 15,000 to... all in all. That's a lot of money for a therapist if you lend in her client. His That's client. a ton of money, man. But Dr. Decker's got it. I mean, not for Bezos, but you know. All right. Have you really never used Tanazepam? Or what would you be trying to hide? You, uh, you, you know, know I never, never rang, rang your, your doorbell. doorbell. Okay. Or have you been dancing recently? Uh, has Natasha spoken to you? I can't uh, stop. That's, that's Nathan. I can't stop having blackouts. Tell me about your referral letter. Okay. Wow. There's a lot going let's on. Let's just go here. with a, have you really never used to pass a pan? Okay. Start from top. Okay. Let's see. Wow. So you think I spiked his drink and killed him with a paper spike? Nice. Why? Just because we ask you if we really think if you're going to do Tamazepam or not does not mean that we think that you spiked his drink and spiked his heart with a spike that had paper spikes. That's a lot of spikes, dude. I don't know how many spikes I can keep saying over and over again. <laughs> that was a lot of spikes. Yeah, dude. Like, what the hell? That was a lot of spikes. So anyways, uh... We should ask, we should tell her that we've never rang her doorbell. I don't remember ringing your doorbell. If you say so, it must have been your twin then. Oh. Get that. No, it was us. She, she has us under her spell, and I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. My twin? Oh, she... I don't know if I have a twin. Do you have a twin, doctor? What the... All right, so these are just like... She's just answering questions with questions now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, it must be my twin. No, I, no, I don't have a twin, dumb bee. <laughs> I know you don't. It was definitely you wearing what you're wearing now. Yeah, see, that was that, 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 that's some weird stuff going on. Have you been dancing? What would you be trying to hide? I can't stop you from having black belt. Uh, let's see what she's trying to hide. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Wouldn't you like to know? I'm not hiding anything. Okay. I thought she was going to pull her dress down. And I was scared. <laughs> I was scared, dude. I would like to know what you're hiding. Oh, do we double down? Yes. All right. It's just a game, Doctor. I like playing games. See? Uh, she, she's a manipulator, dude. Where's the game question? It's all another game and Let's how you play Nathan's it. Nathan's been talking to her. They're going to hook Which up. Which one? Nathan. Okay. Let's go with, have you spoken to Nathan? He's the cute, sad looking one, isn't he? He asked me out, and I said I'd let him know. Do you think I should go out with him? You'd kill him. Nathan has... Nathan's the one who has days repeating. Yeah, he repeats days. Uh, I should... We should say no, don't go out with Nathan. The cute... He asked me out, and the answer she gave him was, I'll let you know. Like, would you, like, just hang on and then hit the girl up, like, a week later? You, you ready to go out yet? He told me to let me know. Nathan has expressed interest in her. Remember, we told him to, in order to get over his ex-girlfriend. Oh, we're going to try to get him laid? 
to, no, we told him that he should start pursuing other females. And then he said, I like the one girl with the accent. And me and you sat up here and we're like, the girl with the accent? Oh, he means the girl without an accent. Yeah, the American <laughs> accent. Um, are you going to tell him to go hook I don't, up? I don't know, honestly. What do you think? Should we? Should Nathan we, might stop showing up to work. But should we wingman Nathan? Or should we be like, Nathan, you'll die? Um, Maybe Nathan will kill her. I don't know where you maybe he'll get from. maybe he'll get in the loop of taking her to the beach I mean if anybody could handle himself against her I would think it would be All right, Nathan. Then fine let's roll dude tell, but... tell her to fucking open up the skirt dude see what's up <laughs> you want to wingman Nathan right now sure all right let's wingman him yeah go Nathan okay but if he goes missing don't go looking at me I mean it's exactly where I'm gonna be looking is you. It, yeah all right, so we basically killed Nathan. Good job. Um, <laughs> have you, it's your fault, bro. I know, right? Have you ever been? Da- have you been dancing recently? No, there's been no dancing. I haven't been feeling that well, doctor. What? She says she's been feeling ill, and that the siren that's calling her back to the sea, and that she mm. is getting louder the longer Tell she stays away. Tell us about your away. referral letter. All right, fine. It's a referral letter, doctor. Don't overthink it. A girl can't be too careful with everything that's been going on. What's that? Lots of stuff. All right, one more, one more left, then we get to go to. I can stop you from having blackouts. (laughs) You said it with such a serious look on your face. I almost believed you. It would be good if you had some kind of superpower that helped me. But I don't I think, think so. Th- there's a lot of foreshadowing that all these people have powers. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, all right. That's let's, it with her. Let's uh, giant what do up, we dude. Got, do we, hey, Joe, we got a lot of people. We got Fine. Nathan. Go to Nathan. We've got Elon. We've got Bryce, who we haven't spoken to in months. And look at him. The little pervert. And then we got Jaya, who Jonas is excited about the Jaya. And then we got... Glenn still. Glenn's back. Is, we Glenn. know we just didn't. We didn't. Oh yeah, we we never finished this up. All right, so you want to do Jaya or you want to do Claire, Elon, Nathan? Oh, I don't care. Let's do Nathan. All right, we'll start with Nathan. All right, how are you today, Nate? I'm feeling good. I ran into one of your other patients, Mariana. She's beautiful. I think we might go on a date. Oh, he was already telling us that. I know, right? Have a look at the toxicology report. All right, let's have a look at that toxicology. Tamazepam is the same sleeping pill Dr. Decker prescribed me. The skull and crossbones pill? Why would he mix those with alcohol? People are such idiots. Which reminds me, a truck driver died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep, which... What do you know about Dr. Decker's drinking habits, huh? Let's go with, uh, let's ask him about the truck driver. Stay on topic. Cool. Yeah, what yeah. The, what, what? Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> what happened there? They forgot a cut scene, bro. Oh, it's good. Well, how'd he die in his garage, dude? I read it in the paper. He'd been drinking. Then he took the sleeping pills. Then he went into his garage and put the hose pipe through his window. Not until he put his daughter in the seat first. Oh, okay. Jesus. Well, I got dark, right? I got dark real quick. Killed his kid too. Damn. He was in the garage. The garage. Um, did the truck driver's daughter die yeah, as well? Yeah, we I put mean, it in I, there. of course the answer is yes. Well, let's go. It's ahead. one of those newspaper stories you read, and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven-year-old daughter. But his daughter was in the car. Do you know I wrote him a letter? The truck driver. Yeah. Tell me about the letter, Nate. Yeah, dude. Dr. Decker told me one of the ways to get through my grief would be to write a letter to the truck driver. I tried to forgive him. I know it was my fault, but the thing that made me feel best was blaming him. I think maybe he killed himself because of me. We really missed an important little Hmm. snippet. Do you think I'm to blame, Doctor? No. I do not think you're to blame. No. Unless he was just like, I told this guy to kill himself. And then he... <laughs> we were kind of to blame for what's his face. I mean, dying. he's going to disappear because he's going to get laid and then get lost in the ocean. I mean, but at least, you know, he'll die happy. I mean, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> his daughter's picture is in the paper. Molly. Molly. Like ecstasy. 
Oh, that's sad. Tell me about Aww. Molly, Nathan. What do you think about her? Ever since I saw a picture in the paper, I've started thinking I could see her. Out of the corner of my eye. She's a little girl for Claire, she's too. she's watching me. Crazy, right? Oh, oh, did you see her on the left side of the screen? I did not. Yeah, there was a little girl that popped up on the left side of the screen, oh, there dude. Was some, there was, there was, oh, I want to watch it again. All right, well, just rewind and see if you see it at home. Yeah, oh, wow, that was crazy. some Fight Club stuff going on here. It was like, yeah, that one spliced. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Drake Decker's drinking habits? Yeah, or let's do I that. need to ask you about Dr. Decker. I, I like how you have a, a statement that says, I still need to ask you about Decker. Well, yeah, then I ask know, right? me about Decker. <laughs> Alcohol isn't something I usually notice on people. Until they're slurring and weaving around. God, that's why I hate them. Was Dr. Decker an alcoholic? Probably. I never saw him drink, though. What then? Why probably? Uh, how, where, how, where did you come up with the... Never saw him uh, drink, but, you know, he's yeah, probably now. You know what, Jonas? Definite heroin user. Never seen him do heroin. But, but I, you I know, can, probably... You, you probably can tell. Yeah, dude, black tar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to ask you about Decker. What are you trying to do most? Cure his patients or find out who killed him? Um, find out who killed him, thanks. I, I want to cure his patients, of course. It's been nice chatting with you. Don't get me wrong, but I can't help but feel you're mainly interested in finding out about the old doctor. I suppose you already know Dr. Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him. Excuse me? This is new information. Why did Dr. Decker think one of his patients was trying to kill him? He told me in one of our sessions, which was later rewound, that someone had been leaving him messages on his prescription pad. Not good messages. Oh, uh, like this mom's a, a dirty bird. Anyways, we'll find out what sort of messages were left on the next one, because that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you don't, then just keep watching Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Great outro. TNT, hey, man, right? It's all about quality here. <laughs> we out.